I'll just start and then, of course, I'll okay. Pero kasi kani plataforma, yung overarching team niya is social justice. Napakalawak nun, siyempre, napakalawak nun. Uh, pero meron din kasi kami mga individual na mga dati nang hindi nagkalaban. So napanggit na kanina ni Erin yung National Land is a... Uh, definitely, mapektohan ang Palawan kasi kinakailangan talaga nga identify ninyo ano yung mga prime agricultural lands nyo na hindi pwede ang mining. Ngayon kasi, pag, pag gusto ng lokal, uh, ano naman yung mga higit protected area ninyo kasi critical watershed siya. Uh, these are questions that only Palawenios can answer. Kasi nagtatago for ang agrikultura, tourism, indigenous lands, and mining. Yun yung inyong resources. But kung meron ka kasi National Land Use Act, may sinasabi na ito yung mga policies, ito yung criteria na kinakalang gawin ng lokal na pamahalaan in terms of identifying yung area for settlements, for infrastructure, for agriculture, for protected areas, for the environment. So, importante yun. Pangalawa yung mining nga, nabanggit ko mga kanina. Kasi, again, it is not just for Palawan, but the entire Philippines. We are the fifth most mineralized country in the world. Napakarami natin ng minerals. Pero sino ba ang kumikita sa ating mining? Dito sa Palawan, di ba? Dato, yung lumilibot ako dyan, may mga pantalan. Tapos, hukukay sila, and then, pinapadala na ng abroad, hindi dumadaan sa custom, sa BIR, walang kinokolekta ng mga buwis, no, iniiwan yung mga pamayanan na wasa dahil sa pagbibina, dahil sa open pit mining, sa paghukay, pero hindi naman Pilipinas ang kumikita. Ang kumikita ay yung ibang bansa. So maybe one of the things that we were trying to say is why we want to still say that mining is important, pero saan ang processing ng mining o ng minerals dito? That's the reason why ang um, Indonesia iniwala ng Pilipinas. Kasi may mining din sila doon, pero pinagbawa nila yung export ng mineral ore doon lang sa Indonesia. And pangalawa, kung ano lang yung kinakilangan natin. Kasi kahit fifth most mineralized country, pero also an archipelago, maliliit na isla, ang Palawan. Mahaba yan eh. Kung may mining sa gitna, yung kanyang epekto, hindi lang yung agricultural lands, pati coastal areas. Apektado ang fishing. So that's why you have to balance. At pag sinasabi mo, ang kailangan lang ng Pilipinas to industrialize is these minerals, at dito lang siguro ipaprocess, maybe that's something that we can explore no? and say that this is a mining law that we would like to push. So that's two examples. No? Ewan ko si eh, Rene Kong meron pang gusto pang kitin. No? But this, ang, ang tanong mo is for Palawan, yes. yung epekto niya sa sa Palawan. So yan siguro. Well, uh, in terms of good governance, this is also national, no national, and uh, I think it will also help Palawan. Eh, we should legislate the freedom of information law. No? Importante, importante yan. Dahil it will give access to information, to government contracts, to, yes. to permits that, that government allows uh, private entities to do mining, or whatever, no, uh, in our country to, to actually know if if uh, what they're saying is true or not. Eh, hanggang ngayon, the first, the first attempt to pass a freedom of information law was in 1988 by then Congressman Raul Rocco. And since then, uh, the, the closest that we ever got to passing that law was in 20, uh, the, during the 2007 to up to 2010 uh, Congress, and I was the champion of the law. It was rat the final bicam report was ratified by the Senate in the House. Uh, Speaker Boy Nograles, upon of course this is uh, this is just speculation on my part, but there was negotiations on the last day that it would be put in the agenda. But I think uh, some people called him and said, no, kill the bill. 
So they declared no quorum. So it was not passed. So uh, right now, what we are working on, uh, what we have right now is just an executive order, no, which President Duterte signed uh, in uh, 2016, Executive Order Number Two. This is just to make pity a President Pinoy. Ikaw wala kang uh, FOI, at least ako may FOI as an executive order, no? So, is an executive order better than a law? Of course not. Because an executive order will only uh, exist during the lifetime of the administration that issued it. And Bongbong Marcos, President Bongbong, reissued that executive order for FOI in our, in our country. Now, if they're really serious, in passing FOI in the Philippines, why are they not pushing it as a no? So, so I think as part of good governance, which will affect Palawanios, uh, is having the FOI passed into law. And then, of course, the issue on agriculture, dahil alam naman natin na ang ating mga magsasaka ngayon, ay senior citizens na. No? Well, yung mga anak na mga magsasaka, ayaw nang maging magsasaka. Bakit? Wala tayo nakik wala nakikita improvement sa kanilang mga buhay. So it is high time also that government figures out how to make the agricultural sector, especially the farmers, no? earn not only enough, but more than enough to encourage people to continue to farm in our country. Or else, ang mangyayari nga dyan, makukonvert lang. Dahil iniwan ang mga agricultural lands natin, makukonvert lang yan sa commercial or sa residential. Paano ngayon ang food security natin? So, sad to say, this has been a problem of every administration of every administration. And since we are an agricultural country, dapat mas mataas ka ang contribution ng agricult agricultura sa ating GDP. Ano paano ng, ng contribution ng agricultural sector sa GDP? Practically, plus minus 5% lang. So this is a big problem that we have to face because we are an agricultural country and that will help our citizens.